Hi there guys, welcome back, this is Farmer Bob and yet another wonderful uh, episode here on the Valley the Old Farm and we are busy doing some pig farming and yes, it's so great to be back and I must say there's been some changes since we lost, uh, since our last episode where we had some struggling with the water and all kinds of other things but yeah, to say the say the least, let's quickly jump around and I'll just wanna see how things is going. Um our harvester here is running nicely. Azil is waiting for it to be filled. Um and here we go. We've got the new addition to the farm. It's the International Harvester 644. Very nifty little tractor. I bought this one. Um for shunting and cleaning the pig sty and doing all the small jobs like this carting of grain from the farm and back it's a very nice little tractor and totally capable of doing all these jobs small and efficient and just think about it it's only 44 kilowatts it's about 60 horsepower <laughs> it's really doing a great job uh, top speed 30 k's an hour and to tell you the truth, inside the cab, very nice. It's got IC, you can't believe it. it can, uh, I can't uh, show it to you now because the driver is driving. But um, it's got IC for the windows. Um, it's got IC for the front window to open, the back window, even the side windows to open. And then on, on the side, let me just have a look. What, what was there else? No, that was it. All the windows can open and the doors. And yeah, it's quite a a little tractor, guys. Very, very nice. Very basic, as you can see. Nothing fancy. And uh, yeah, it does the job. That's what you'd expect. What I've done um, is we I was in serious need of uh, some more tractors. So uh, the John Deere was um, was the donor, <laughs> basically to to buy two more tractors so what we've done is I've bought, bought this one which was only like I think thirteen thousand dollars which wasn't too bad and then also um, I have oh I think there might be a traffic jam here now that I'll need to sort out you is it gonna make it no nope, it's not it's definitely not I don't know why this all went and parked here because I mean Boy, oh boy, wasn't there a better place to park? <laughs> Crazy. Just want to see if it will carry on. Okay, there you go. And then the next thing, um, I downloaded the mod pack from um, Stevie. It's a, a New Holland mod pack for tractors. And you won't believe there's some nice tractors in it. There it is. It's the T5 for 63, the T6 for 107, and then there's a T7 heavy duty for 19,000, which I just couldn't believe. But what a pleasure. I've bought that one for us together with the International Harvester. Um, and then there's the T8, the T8 Evo, the T9, the half track, um, another half track. Very, very nice pack with all these um, mods in. And they are all New Holland tractors. Um, and yes, that's what I've bought for us. And that's, this is it here. I've already plowed um, field uh, 91 with the Tiger, with the Tiger, um, the Tiger T10, is it? Yeah, I think it's the Tiger T10 plow, which actually requires 260 kilowatts, and uh, of which there's T7 heavy. If I'm just correct, I think it's 210 or something. Let's just have a look quickly. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. The T7 heavy duty comes standard with uh, 212 kilowatts. You see, so, and I must say it's really performing very well, guys. Um, I've plowed this field. Um, it was running the uphills at about 7 k's an hour, which is awesome. I mean, that's uh, very good for uh, like about 60 kilowatt under pool weight that it's uh, 
supposed to have, you know. But anyways, uh, the work, work tool needs to be refilled. Okay, that means our sewing machine is empty. I just quickly want to just show you around on this. Very, very nice tractor. Second hand, but it looks brand new. <laughs> I had to match the colors because the color scheme on it was a bit crazy. So I think I've matched the colors quite nicely. And then on the inside, uh, beautifully worked out. Look at that, man. It is an awesome tractor for 19 grand. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Anyways, um, unfortunately, there's no IC inside. But I mean, the model is awesome. And I don't really use IC that much. You know, it's not that I'm IC freak or anything. But uh, yeah, a beautiful tractor. And it's big. So it can do all these large jobs for us on the farm. Um, especially these two large fields that needs um, plowing. So I'm, I intend to keep this one um, around for doing these kind of large jobs that we've got. And later on when we've got some bucks, we were going to definitely um, upgrade our sewing machines as well to at least a to at least at least a 10 meter as well. You know, just to make sewing a bit easier on these large fields. All right, so um, here we go. It's another load of beans being delivered. I've set up a course play uh, course for for bringing our fruits from the farm to the pigsty, so we can automatically see what we need on the piggies. Uh, just to give you an update on the piggies, I've done quite a bit of off-screen work um, just to save some time, guys. I'm just going to get to the animals. Okay, so what do we still need here? We still need potatoes, uh, of which we don't have much left, but there is a harvest that's ready, or close to being ready. Water, we're going to need to give some water. Um, so, I think straw and corn, we can drop in another load of corn. So, I think, I think what I'm going to do, I'll let this just run back. And then once we are there, I can... Uh, get it to bring us some corn all right so probably need to start this boy and i need to refill the cedar so yeah nice to be back guys very very nice to be back um i must say it's been pretty much i just want to see where am i oh i'm i'm confused now guys sorry man for a, for a second there, I thought I was in the other field. <laughs> Farmer Bob. Oh my gosh. Look at him going out of here like a Kyalami racer, you know. Formula One driver, guys. Formula One driver. We need to just quickly fill the sewing machine. Our international harvester. It seems like this tractor needs a little bit of weight in front because it seems to be uh, a bit a bit on the light side in front the sewing machine is also very small in size so yeah it will be nice to actually upgrade this guys to just the next level of sewing machine maybe one of those direct cedars um, so that we don't have to bother um, cultivating anymore you know but we'll get around to that, guys. Oh, in here. Totally, totally in here. Just follow our tracks. From where we last stopped. I think it was down here somewhere. There it is, guys. There it is. Now I need to just see behind me, which I can't with this huge sewing machine hanging in the air. <laughs> I can't see, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, we don't want first waypoint. Uh, we want uh, nearest waypoint. Let's activate the sewing work. All right, everything should go as planned. There we go. Our little uh, 644 is waiting for us, so let's just jump there. Oh, I just also want to get rid of this um, these things because it doesn't look too nice when they're hanging in the air. And then here we are already. And then this guy, um, we need to just stop the driver. 
And now we don't want to add soybeans, we want to add corn. There you go. How much corn do we have here? Uh, we're going to quickly have a look. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Where is our corn? There we go. We've got 17. So we can add one more load of corn. Just going to bring it down to one corn. And we go dry up the corns. All right, excellent. Our little um, tractor, little international harvester, will load one load of corn. And there it's coming. Oh, oh I see. It didn't take oil, all, all the soybeans. So let me just reverse a bit, stop the driver. Oh, I must just quickly empty this before I reverse. That's what we need to do. We need to just empty it. So that the piggies must now be very happy concerning uh, concerning soybeans, oh, guys. I keep on forgetting wait, which way to turn. Oh yeah, and this is the first time I'm trying to reverse with this little track. Oh my word, no, wait a second. I can't work like this, guys. Um, you're probably laughing lacquer now at Farmer Bob not being disorientated here for a sec. There we go, that's much better. I just need to reverse a little bit to get to this waypoint. So I can say here yeah, again, start again. There you go, now we can leave it. It will take one load of corn and come back here and tell us it's finished again. Silo is empty. That can't be. How is that possible? Waiting for more. No oh, man, that's impossible. That is impossible. We just had a look. We had 17,000 liters in stock. So where's the rest of our corn? No, 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 no. Can it be? Can it be? Uh, that I've put corn on top. Is that possible, guys? I can't remember, but let's just have a look. Very nice little mod, this international office, guys. I would really suggest you guys downloading this little mod. And it's a nifty little tractor. Um, it's got a front loader attachment. It's got front hydraulic. It is so nifty for the price, man. What a pleasure, guys. Look at this little thing. Beautiful. <laughs> Can you believe it? it's got a front loader attachment? <laughs> uh, I'm laughing, but it's for basically the same as the little um, Massey Ferguson range and all that, you know. There's nothing in here. So where's all our corn? Did I buy a silo somewhere that I don't know of? No man, it can't be. I've only planted corn here. Where else can our corn be, guys? Hmm, this is strange. This is very strange. I didn't put corn anywhere else. No oh man, wait, this is wheat. Why is it wheat? Ah, guys. I give you permission to love once again. I can swear I definitely selected corn there. Why did it load wheat? Let me just go back and verify now. Right, let's have a look. Wheat! I don't know how it got to wheat, guys. I am so sure I put corn there. Number of runs to perform one. Ah, this is strange, guys. Anyways, it's my try again. 
this time around I will wait for it and check that it is corn that's falling in there and I did select corn now suddenly it's corn I don't know maybe I made a mistake <laughs> nothing's impossible guys oh my gosh all right anyways let us leave this boy to carry on let's check up on the rest of our field work very nice all right to just to just uh, bring you up to speed where we are with the with the whole um farming business this is our growth we've sowed that field number two we've sowed uh, 62 and we're now doing 91 we're harvesting 92 and then we're gonna cultivate and plant it and then field 25 has got the potatoes which is still growing excellent great guys so basically um, yeah that's where we are and then yeah good news on the piggies uh, we are at the moment at exactly 300 our productivity as you can see is a hundred percent we need to add some potatoes and then we need to get some water going um, in my last episode um, we solved the, the free water crisis by drilling a borehole on the pig farm we got the contractors out I've just got tired of trying to find free water and uh, yeah, to tell you the truth I couldn't find free water anywhere on the map even even with the um, I just want to quickly have a look here what's happening here now I'm going to stop the driver quick let's jump out here uh, no, you don't have to jump out I just want to see we need to bring some potatoes and we need to get some water the water is not a crisis none of these are a crisis yet but uh, the potatoes is starting to look a bit grim <laughs> we can buy potatoes in but what I wanted to say doesn't that sound nice when that thing goes off <laughs> oh yes <laughs> while we're at it let me quickly show you the IC there you go um, you can open the side windows the door uh, in front you've got the front window the right door uh, this back as the right side window and then also the back window isn't that awesome guys <laughs> for a nifty little track to like this say eh? oh yes and it's got a sunroof so <laughs> you can open the sunroof oh my word oh no this is quite cool eh? very nice little tractor i must say i'm chuffed with it in the main main amazing thing has got this front hydraulic can you believe it probably not too big look at that a small little cylinder down there um, but yeah it's got a front hydraulic guys and a front loader attachment which we're going to use right now to quickly do the cleansiness a bit so yeah without further ado uh, let me just get myself going here and then yeah let's get let's get stuck in um, I'm just thinking where did I put oh there it is this is going to be the first time I'm going to try and um, see if that front loader attachment work on this little tractor it will actually be nice guys if this little tractor can um, sure I don't know if it's gonna fit oh wait does it fit guys <laughs> oh nice this thing is in the way it really works beautiful now I wonder if it's wider than the tractor itself if you look at it here yeah, it looks like it's still it might be like a little, little 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 bit wider which which should be nice when we try to clean you know because if the if the bucket is a little bit uh, um, wider than the tractor then it makes it so much easier to clean on the sides you know so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to push that like that and then just lift it a little bit. And yeah, now we should have... Oh, it's a little bit too low because I can't steer. There you go, that's better. Wonderful, look at that guys. 
<laughs> Sweeping up this floor, it's so easy to do. Oh, ooh, I see a problem. <laughs> I see a problem. Oh, we're gonna have to put the weight on the back. Gonna have to put the weight on the back. It's not gonna be able to work like this, guys. And it's not even full. Oh my gosh. Alright. Now, so seriously, work tool needs to be refilled again. Oh, I can just drop it here because this is a. Um, it's a full point, or what you call it, a... It's a nice corn. Nice free corn, yeah. Got stuck there in the rails, guys. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, so I won't be able to take out the manure now. Um, so we're going to have to get a, a back weight for it. Gosh, I wonder what did I do with the back weights? Do we actually have any back weights? Very nice little triangle triangle window there. So you can align quite nicely. Not that I did it there so good, but anyways. Nearest waypoint and there we go. Back to the back to the farm. Uh I'll just quickly jump in here. Stop this driver, and there we go, man. Let's go and get that. Um, oh, that's backwards. I must try and figure out, guys. I've got a big bit of a worry with my um, steering wheel and pedals. Um, you know, I'm trying to get a way to um, what do you call it to drive this as a real automatic, you know, the game. I don't see any settings in the game that can, where you can change that. The problem is um, my pedals has got a brake and I accelerate. So what happens now is I've got it set up as an accelerator and then the brake is also reverse, which is actually quite crazy. Um, I was almost refilling the sewing machine there <laughs> by that. Oh my word. Um, so that is my big issue. That's why you'll see me sometimes reverse instead of driving because I mean it's not really working. My, my setup, it's not working like I want it to work, you know. Um, like I want to select forward and I want to select reverse like with the gear lever. But there's no, I don't see any option to do that, you know. Um, so that it can run like a real automatic. So you put it in drive or you put it in reverse with my, I've got a little stick here next to the gear lever that, um, where you can select or you can use that to select gears but that would be ideal if I could do that, you know but anyways guys, if there's anyone with an idea uh, or some help, I would really appreciate uh, just drop a reply in the comments and Farmer Bob will be a happy chappy if there's a, a way to get around that it's quite annoying to have to um, to have to use your brake pedal as a reverse you know it doesn't doesn't work for me so nicely you know? all right so here we go let's just let the driver carry on from here and then let's just save our poor driver here that has been going crazy in circles and, and I can see where I'm going that would be nice I wonder what happened here I think maybe my turning circle is just a little bit too small sorry guys for flicking around like that I want to just quickly have a check here at the settings let me just make that 11 meters um, might be the reason why well, it's so annoying with these trees that's on the edge of the field. Every time you, you want to use your mouse, I must first take away the horse play window. Alright, drive horse, can't go first way point. Go nearest, let's have a look. There we go. How full is that zoo? Let's have a look. 
Zilly's, oh, it's only one load, so you can take another load. And our new Holland. <laughs> it's a new, new Holland. <laughs> oh, my word. With the Tiger 10 LT. Um, it's a culty plow. So it cultivates and it plows. Wonderful. Si the farm silo is empty, waiting for more. Okay, let's just jump there. What did you, what did you load? Wheat. Did I ask you to load wheat? I can't remember now. Anyways, let's just stop the driver, empty it. And then what we do, guys, we're going to load the load of potatoes. I think it might be our last load of potatoes. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Might be our last, 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 last load of potatoes. Coming back to the controls, guys. Yes, I'm not too sure yet of... Um, I haven't really fiddled enough, you know. I should maybe just take some time and fiddle some more, you know, with the settings. And one thing that I've realized also is my pedals isn't really that sensitive, you know. It seems to have, like, not such a good response, you know. I'm just going to go external so I can see it down nicely underneath this thing. Let us see, pig food, straw, sugar beet, potatoes. That's our last potatoes, guys. It's going to be off, like, maybe two-thirds of the trailer. All right. Anyways, we're going to have to take this to the piggies. We can buy in potatoes if we run out. Um, there is some farmers that, that has planted quite a bit of potatoes and they have got a lot of excess potatoes so it's very easy to get all of them to uh, just give us a hand, you know. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump in here, set it to uh, drive the course at the nearest waypoint. What is happening now? Why is it not running? Drive now. Is that the nearest waypoint? It's not the nearest waypoint. Why are you doing that? Huh? Why are you doing that, sir? Let's just do this. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, so yeah, guys, uh, like I said, if there's any help, it will be nice, guys, if there's anyone that can give me some advice, I won't have a problem with that. Thank you so much. All right, we should be about finished here. Might as well just stop the driver and quickly do this last bit ourselves. Uh, let's delete that, close that, and there you go. I'm just going to see where I start this point. There you see. Nice. I'm not going to be faffing around too much about this. 10 pieces of corn ears that's standing around so guys without further ado I think what I'll do is just quickly drive there to the zoo while we're at it and on our way there we'll just grab this last remaining bits Well judged there, Farmer Bob. Nice job, man. <laughs> Great stuff. Alright, so I think let us then carry on. And there it is. Our fields is harvested, guys. So I'm going to just park these on the edge there. And then get our new Holland to cultivate this nice big field here.
Let's have a look. It looks like there might be some corn standing up there quite a bit. So while we on our way there, we might as well just get these little bits. I don't know how much it is, but yeah, can't waste these. It looks like there's a fair amount of them hanging around, so let's grab them all. Especially this row here. Nice and big amount here. It's going to be about this, maybe a few hundred liters. Look at that, 200 liters about. Alright, I'm, I'm really uh, finished now guys. <laughs> okay, let's just bring our pipe out. And then just park here for now, under the tree. And then jump to our zoo. And stop the driver. Let's just go there, empty our harvester and then get this corn to the to the storage guys. Yo, what an exciting day man. The whole day has been just planting and harvesting, planting and harvesting. That's why I've saved you all that time. And why did the pipe not go out? I did I definitely did put it out. Right, silly. Let's just go back. Yeah, it's coming. I honestly don't know why it's not uh, responding. I think I might be too far, guys. Let's just get a little bit closer. There you go. Nice. Is that it? Well, that's it, guys. Um, let's just drive the course. Drive now. And there you go. Oh my gosh, now it wants to go back to the field. And now we're driving over our own field, which is not good. Ruining our crops. You crazy man. Okay, what I need to do also is check out our inventory or inventory for uh, the guy now. Just spot that other international harvester tractor. It's right behind us. Gotta get out of the way. Why did it not offload the potatoes? Oh man. Why did it not offload? Oh, because of this. You see what happens, guys. That is now exactly what happens. some reason um, for some reason he didn't offload the potatoes but it doesn't matter while this is going uh, well I also bought us a new um, header trailer there it is very nifty little header trailer it was four and a half thousand dollars which is fairly cheap um, the trigger reached Stop the driver. Uh, what is happening here? Why is it driving so slow? From recording, did I drive slow like that when I recorded it? Can it be? Okay, let's just see. 10 k's an hour. It sounds like turn speed. Some for some reason oh yes the other thing is uh, this map is now finished we finished sowing this field so this is nice we can jump to our next field once that has been cultivated we are obviously uh, not ready to to 
uh, um, get that going but we're gonna definitely be filling this with seed and then yeah let's do that I drive this way guys because that other side that other road at the bottom and you are that thing you see now I'm gonna give it a go again but it's like jungle gym driving that road you can't drive fast on that road it shakes your poor tractor to pieces and there you go we are ready to roll still a lot of fertilizer so I'm not going to be bothered with that but what I'm doing now is I'm driving the side side of the field edge much 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 better quite uh, right this one can stay here for now this one we can close and then I just want to see now that this uh, tips here it's really going crazy why is it trying through it's probably because it's set on wheat man it is set on wheat guys just want to test my theory if i set it to uh, potatoes it should um should take over here and do the thing right i forgot it i have to set it to potatoes no still not <laughs> Former Bob. Okay, let's just leave it. Let's just leave it. Let's tip it ourselves. We're wasting time and energy and effort. Ooh, sorry guys. I got stuck there now. Former Bob, what are you doing? I'm not too sure now. There you go, this, yeah, I mean, the, it should be, yeah, it should be at the drop point where it's been dropping all the time. For some reason, it just doesn't want to drop the potatoes there. It's weird. I think cosplay has been uh, sad with me because I jippoed it, you know. <laughs> there was no potatoes there at that place where we offloaded it. Alright, so now... If we have a look at our piggies, um, they are very happy still. We need to get some water to them. But before we do that, let us just quickly get this um, field work going here. This is field 92, and this is plow 10 meter. There you go. All right. So now have a look. Where's the first waypoint for this thing? Oh, they're on top by the looks of it. Man, this is a nice tractor, guys, for 19 grand. I obviously spent a bit more, I think about 27 or something, because I've changed the color of the rims and I've changed the color of the paint back to standard, because it doesn't come standard. It's got a pink. I mean, who paints a tractor pink? You know? So, anyways, um, it, it just didn't, didn't look so nice, you know? So I had to do that. I didn't, there is another engine as well, I think that you can take on this model, it's a stronger engine. But I just went for the base model to save some money. Money is the object guys, we don't have a lot of it now. Don't have too much of it, so, yes. Alright, and there you go. Let us leave the friendly New Holland to do the job for us and carry on and finish the job well guys this is the end of another episode it was so nice to spend this time together I hope you enjoyed it with me I thoroughly enjoyed it and uh, yes I would like to hear from you if there's any comments or feedback or anything you want to leave do so in the comment section and if you like the video give it a like I really appreciate that guys Take care and have a wonderful day. This is Farmer Bob saying cheers. Until next time.